Okay, in this lesson, we're going to investigate power for electrical current, and we're going to look at electrical energy and the cost of electrical energy. So this television, 120 volts, and the current of the television is 2.4 amps. And we want to, first of all, determine the power and the resistance for the television. So again, power is equal to I times V. So our power is then going to be equal to a current of 2.4 amps. I'll multiply that by 120 volts. That comes out to be 288 watts. Okay, and then we'll just use Ohm's law to get the resistance. So V equals IR. We have 120 volts and a current of 2.4 amps. And uh, we'll multiply that by resistance. And the resistance turns out to be 50 ohms. Okay, so there you have it. We're going to now look at uh, the television being left on for 12 hours. We want to find out what the cost of that would be if the uh, price per kilowatt hour is 15 cents. And the equation we're looking at now is going to be energy is equal to power times time. Now we'll be in units that we're not quite used to in kilowatt hours, so we'll need to convert our watts into kilowatts and then multiply that by hours. Okay, so the energy in this case is going to equal, or well, power is 288 watts. I divide that by 1000 in order to get that into kilowatts. And then we'll multiply that by 12 hours. So it times up by 12. And our kilowatt hours is 3.46. And I'll label that as kilowatt hours. OK, but please you know, recognize that I took the power and multiplied by time. That's what total energy is. Usually, our energy is going to be in joules. OK, but this is just a different answer here. And we'll see that there is a conversion in a little bit. OK, how much uh, would it cost? If it's 15 cents per kilowatt hour, so then I'll just say 3.46 kilowatt hours. Multiply that by 15 cents per one kilowatt hour, and that turns out to be 51.8 cents. And that's how we do that calculation. Okay, now next, we want to figure out how many joules that actually is. So I'll take 3.46 kilowatt hours, and I'll multiply that by 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. Okay, and that's per kilowatt hour. So it's, I'll write out here. So per 1 kilowatt hour. And that equals... 1.2 times 10 to the 7 joules. Now, just as a quick explanation where this number comes from. So, 1 kilowatt hour. So, that means I have 1,000 watts. Okay, and I have 3,600 seconds. So, that's how many seconds there are in uh, one hour. So, if I want to convert that, remember energy equals power times time. So now I'll say energy is equal to 1,000. Now watts is really a joule per second. If I times that by 3,600 seconds, my seconds will cross off. And you see that answer would then come out to be our 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. So again, hopefully that clarifies uh, this energy equals power times time. Power joules per second and then multiplied by time.